As of version 6.02, EDIUS 6 is uh, not really remembering a user profile's presets as they make uh, changes, as they customize them. Uh, maybe we'll just uh, show an example of that. Let's fire up the program. And uh, let's uh, go for a new project, and we'll call it uh, test. I've been doing some tests on this this morning, so this is test three. And uh, we'll choose an HDV uh, preset, the uh, 1440 by 1080 at uh, the 59.94 fields per second, uh, or interlaced uh, project. And uh, we'll go in and uh, check the customize box for that because we want to make a few changes to the default settings that EDIUS gives us in their presets. For example, we'd like to change this to Canopus HQ Fine. And I kind of like to have the overscan size at zero so we're not running into problems with our effects. And uh, I usually go with the minus 12 dB gain. And I really don't like these uh, VA tracks. So we'll set that to zero, set the title tracks to zero because we don't use those and maybe add uh, maybe three video tracks to start out our, our program. We might not need the four audio tracks to start out. Uh, so let's set that to three. So with these customizations in place, let's go ahead and start our program. Some of you might think that I'm uh, recording these uh, tutorials close to a freeway, but actually I'm in uh, Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam, and uh, they like to honk their horns here, so sorry about that. Okay, so we now have opened up uh, an HDV project uh, with the settings that we prefer. No VA tracks, no title tracks, and uh, some of the other settings that we chose. So we'll save this, uh, test three, control S, close the program, and uh, try again, open up our program you would think that with my user profile being the only one up, that EDIUS would have remembered uh, the customization that I made to uh, my presets. Uh, EDIUS 5 did that. But uh, for some reason, um, EDIUS 6 is not remembering that. My wife accuses me sometimes of having a goldfish memory of only three seconds. It looks like uh, EDIUS 6, at least in these first few releases of the program, uh, it does have a goldfish memory because as we go and open this now, it does not remember the customization that we made and we end up with uh, a project that has all of these odd tracks and the, the, the video audio tracks, the title tracks, and, and uh, it's not remembering my overscan choices and that type of thing. So as a workaround to this, I want to show uh, some new users how to make uh, what we call startup projects that will kind of bypass this limitation of version 6. Let's go ahead and uh, fire up the program one more time. And we'll go with a new project. Let's give it a name. And uh, you'll probably want to make uh, four or five of these depending on how many different types of cameras you're working with and the different types of video presets that you need to set as you work with your projects. So let's call this one first of all uh, HDV. Call it Startup. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, make sure that these all end up in the same folder. I think I've started one here on the iOmega drive, and we'll call it Starting Projects. Okay, and now we'll go in and make our customization. Well, first of all, let's choose our HDV preset. And, uh, this, and this is an NTSC HDV project that was shot in the interlace format. 30 frames a second, but... Uh, each frame has two fields when it's in an interlaced project, so that's why it shows up as 59.94i for interlaced. So we'll go ahead and select that, but we'll also hit the customize and uh, just verify, first of all, that we are at the 1440 by 1080 at, at 59.94 interlaced. And then go ahead and uh, make the customization that uh, you would like to have uh, in your startup programs. We'll go with the fine. I like, as I say, to have the overscan set to zero and uh, minus 12 dB gain and once again we'll get rid of these VA tracks and title tracks and uh, maybe start with two and uh, we can probably leave the audio tracks at four. Okay so let's uh, go ahead and accept that customization and uh, it's always a good practice to whenever you start up a new project to save it once so let's hit control S so we've saved the program once. Now for startup projects, uh, 
what we're aiming to do is set up a project that contains a lot of the media that you will use over and over again. For example, um, I have several music libraries uh, that contain several thousand uh, tracks. And uh, I don't want to take the time to sort out all of that music every time I start a project. And so I have uh, made a project uh, called Music. And uh, what we'll do is we'll just simply import that into our startup project. And uh, so let's go down to Open Project. And, and if you've never imported a project into an, a project before, you might think, first of all, that uh, this is the option that we're looking for, Import Project. But actually, this has more to do with importing a... Uh, a decision list, an edit decision list. And uh, so what we want, even though it's not really named properly here, is import sequence. This is the option that you want when you want to import an EDIUS project into another EDIUS project. And once you open up the dialog box, it does uh, have the wording kind of corrected there, import project. And so let's go look for our music project. Uh, let's browse our hard disks here. If I have it on C drive under music and HDV music. Okay, and uh, when we're importing a project, uh, we really don't need uh, to copy, in most cases at least, we don't need to copy the clips into our project folder. The music is already on my hard drives, probably on several different hard drives, and I don't need to make another copy of that. So we can uncheck the copy clips and uh, import to bin is fine so let's just go ahead and hit OK. Now if the uh, project settings of the project that you're bringing in do not match the project that you're you're working with, um, Edius will give you this little warning and, uh, and in most cases you can just go ahead and hit OK without any problems. So now Edius has imported this old project into my new project and I now have a folder uh, showing up in my bin that's called HDV Music. And as I open it up, I see that I have all of my music tracks nicely organized uh, from my previous music project. And I don't have to do that now every time I start an HDV project. Now, before we close this, we can go ahead and add a few other things uh, to the startup project. For example, we might want to add a graphics folder. So just right click on the root folder there and uh, choose new folder. And with our graphics subfolder selected, we can go ahead and uh, uh, maybe throw some graphics in there. We'll create uh, color bars and uh, uh, notice that Edius is remembering my uh, preferred tone level. And uh, you can choose a variety of different types of color bars. We'll go with the Simpty. And uh, now we have a color bars ready to go. We can maybe create some mats. I like a I like to have a black mat uh, in my program, but uh, you can really, with this mat creator, create any color. Just, just go ahead and click in uh, this first box here, and you can choose to have any color. Maybe, maybe you want a nice uh, dark blue. By pointing your mouse, you can select uh, almost any color of the rainbow and then adjust that uh, using the slider bar as well. And when you've got something you like, just hit OK, and now you have uh, a, a color mat. Uh, and you can choose as many as you like there. And you may be working with uh, two or three clients over and over again uh, through the course of the year, and so you may want to bring in their logos. And so let's go after some logos. And you get the idea. You can go through your hard drives and bring in the most favorite media clips that you are using over and over again in every project. And once you've brought them all in and you've organized them into subfolders, then uh, go ahead and save your project and uh, close out. And uh, then the next time that you want to start an HDV project, all you have to do is uh, go to that startup project. And this way, uh, the project that you start with will not only remember all of your customized settings, but uh, also uh, it will start you out with your most favorite media clips ready to go. And uh, then it's just a simple matter of saving as. Choose a little down arrow beside the save icon there and select save as and uh, give it a new name, uh, the name of the project that you want to start. So let's just call it Cambodia because that's the next project that I need to work on, and uh, 2011. And so this enables you to start a project very quickly. Uh, just go in, uh, use your startup project, 
rename it and you're ready to go.